Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily convert a widescreen video over to a vertical video for platforms like Instagram, IGTV, or any other platform where vertical is the preferred format to view your videos. And so this is going to be a very simple process. And at the same time, you can be very creative with it as well. And so once you brought your clip down to your project timeline, it's going to be in the default right screen aspect ratio. So all you have to do is go up here to settings and go to video mode. And you'll notice that there's already a bunch of default modes. But where you want to go is non-broadcast. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice that there's options for square, which Instagram also accepts, and vertical. And you can upload widescreen videos to Instagram. But unfortunately, it's not really best suited for that, so it's going to look weird. And so in this case, you could either choose vertical HD 30 frames per second or vertical HD 60 frames per second. And before I do that, let me show you another method as well. There's also a custom method where you could add your own, add your own resolution. There's also some default aspect ratio. So there is the vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio. And so you can use this as well and name it whatever you want. But I'm going to keep this very simple. So we're going to go back to the video mode and we're going to choose vertical, non-broadcast, vertical HD 30 frames per second. And it's going to go ahead and change our project settings. And now you'll notice it's in the vertical format. So what's left now is you're going to have to do some adjustments on your widescreen video to make sure that it fits into this new resolution. And so the easy way to do that is select your clip, go to filters, and then on the plus sign, you can look up size. And what you see is there's going to be a size position and rotate filter. Go ahead and choose that. And now you could actually adjust your video. So you could zoom in, move it around. And so however you want it. So I'm going to make this super simple. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in and make sure it covers the entire resolution. And at the same time, you could adjust it and make sure you position it to where you know your framing is correct for your new vertical video so now if you actually play this back you know we now have our vertical video super easy to do and once you export it it will be in the correct dimensions uh, for instagram or any other platform where you're doing vertical videos now here's the part where you could actually get a little bit more creative and add other elements for serious youtubers check out tubebuddy the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the first thing you can do is you can add another video track above this or below it. So let me show you how that looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and select a clip, this track and right click, and then go to track operations, add a video track. And in this case, I'm gonna add it above this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my playlist and I have a video here. And I'm going to go ahead and add that above this one. And there it is. It's right above uh, my original clip. So all you have to do is do the same thing you did before. You can use the size and position filter. Go ahead and choose it. Go to your filters. And we do just like we did before. And now I could move this around. And then for my video below it, you know, you could resize it, you know, as well. You know adjust the position because now you have a video above it so we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and resize this make this a little bit smaller because now uh, this particular video clip doesn't have to take up the entire dimension so there it is and if you watch this you know it's gonna look a little bit more interesting because you definitely don't want a lot of negative space and so there it is we have a video on the top and on the bottom and so that's one way you could do it. So now another thing that you could do is you could actually add a text track above your video clip. So before we added two video clips, so we had a video clip above and then we had our original video clip below. Now we could actually add a text track up here if we wanted to. So all you have to do is make sure you select this track, right click on your mouse, track operations, insert track. And once you have that track inserted, we'll go ahead and highlight this track. And then we're gonna go up here to open other choose color say okay and now we'll drag this you know hold it on your mouse drag it down here and you see overwrite and now you can actually adjust this track and it's currently transparent so there's nothing there so you could actually adjust this like you would any other video or image track so we're gonna go ahead and select it go to filters and here we're gonna go ahead and look for text so you could type it in I already have it under my favorites it's text simple and you notice there's some text down here. 
and here you can adjust it however you need so I'm gonna go ahead and type in some text right here and I'm also gonna go ahead and change the color to red and let's go ahead and change the font as well uh, just to make it stick out a little bit more all right and then I'm gonna go ahead and you know just move this there you go not the most awesome in the world but it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do so now if you play this your Instagram does have some text above uh, you can add many other things you can add a green screen video you can add a gif whatever it is that you want to add just treat it like another track and those are just some simple ways in which you could not only change your widescreen video to a vertical video but you could also add other elements to make it stand out and once you're done you just export it like normal and you're ready to go so that's it for this video on how to simply you know convert it from a widescreen vertical along with adding other elements so if you actually had any thoughts on how to do this or any other ways in which you do this conversion be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips I do have a playlist I'll leave that in the description below as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.